Think and do. That is the motto of NC State, an idea that falls in line with their work on semiconductors. Utilizing nearly all aspects of modern technology, it's impossible to understate the importance of semiconductors. If you look at emerging technologies like artificial intelligence that are going to require power, you need to be able to get that power there efficiently. Uh, if you look at technologies like quantum, you need to have new lasers, uh, new uh, photonic integrated circuits that will be able to make the next generation of quantum computers. Dr. John Muth is director of the Claus Hub, which is receiving $19 million from the Chips and Science Act towards helping grow the industry. Currently, Taiwan is responsible for the bulk of chip production across the world, a point that has concerned U.S. security officials. Now, NC State, part of a team taking the lead in addressing this. And they have for a long time been a particular leader in these special specialty semiconductors that are so important in our military for radar and for uh, power electronics. Students attending today's event sharing their reaction upon learning they'll be able to work on a project of this magnitude. I want to take my experience in academia and from the support that we're given and push it in the industry and I hope it gives me a great leap forward. I think it's a really uh, great opportunity to kind of leverage for uh, employers for future employment opportunities to kind of be able to say uh, that you worked on some of these um, uh, different innovations. In total, the federal government is announcing $269 million across 33 projects stemming from the Chips and Science Act this week. In Raleigh, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.